What's up, YouTube? This is James coming back at you with another informative video. I hope y'all doing well out there on this Tuesday. I'm doing real good myself. I come across this <laughs> this particular story about this hunk of dumplings right here. <laughs> uh, it would seem in this day and age now that uh, COVID, you know, 19, you know, is basically used for all kinds of excuses to commit all sorts of crimes all right all sorts of crimes as in this particular case here as you can see it says male nurse arrested after telling patients gynecological exams was necessary part of COVID-19 testing <laughs> now of course uh y'all see this fat hump of dumplings right here <laughs> you know he's got to use you know, all his uh, skills at his commands. You know, y'all know this this dude ain't getting no women. But yet and still, nah, you a piece of fat shit. You had no business doing this. You had no business doing this, you know. But it goes on to say right here, a Florida nurse has been charged with multiple counts of sexual assault after he told several dozen patients that a gynecological exam was part of the COVID-19 testing procedure. Billy J. O'Brien, 23, a nurse at Jackson Memorial Hospital, was arrested by Miami police this week after several complaints of patients <laughs> raised the alarm. O'Brien, who was assigned to COVID-19 testing, allegedly performed inappropriate gestures of sexual nature upon his victims, who believe they were being tested for the coronavirus. <laughs> This is something like something out of the, that movie, The Revenge of the Nerds or something, man. You know what I mean? So <clears throat> he he took this and looked at it as a gold mine to molest women saying that, you know, well, I have to check y'all out, you know, and, 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 you know, we don't do it through the nostrils with the Q-tip or whatever that thing is they stick up there. He did it at the bottom. You understand? They should have known to ask somebody something in the first place. All right. I mean, he should have said, no, is that right? Let me talk to somebody. Could you call somebody, you know, uh, in here, like another nurse or a doctor where I can ask, is this true? Right. But it says here, he told me to close my eyes and to keep my mouth wide open before inserting something very warm into my mouth that had the shape and taste of a small penis. Oh, no, this can't be real. This cannot be real. One anonymous victim was called in horror. All right. Man, they need to catch this motherfucker. And boy, I tell you. At all. Wow. Okay, it goes on to say here. Uh, this is right here is uh, this lady. I don't want to miss her. It says, Dr. Julia Ramirez at Jackson Memorial Hospital assured that the official COVID-19 test did not imply any gynecological exams of or relay on the touching of the breast, genitals, or of the anal region in any way or form. I had to undress completely and wear a hospital gown. Then he turned me around, spread my legs, and inserted his fingers in my anus. That's what it says. Telling me he could guess my temperature without a thermostat well a thermometer okay another victim told reporters some of these women got to be crazy i mean come on y'all they, they, they had to know better than this now you, look there's been many times that i've seen you know uh on uh whatever 2020 or what have you and they always seem to show you know they take that long ass look like a long q-tip and they stick it up the person's nostrils far as they can without basically injuring them. And they said it's very uncomfortable. It doesn't feel good. You know, you mean to tell me these victims didn't know that this motherfucker right here was on something else sexually. Okay. <sighs> Boy, these people, it's bad to live and lack common sense. All right. In conclusion here, it says one woman was shocked to see Nurse O'Brien performing a COVID-19 test on another patient with his parts down 
to his knees, excuse me, with his pants down to his knees. His pants. Okay, let's clear that up. All right. Um, and decided to skip the test completely. <laughs> I, I'm sure. You should have been reporting. You, the first patient he did this shit to, they were supposed to report him. When he, when he dropped his pants or whatever, they were supposed to, oh, hell no. Right there. Okay. Now to continue, I thought to myself, there are things worse than having the coronavirus. <laughs> and that was one of them. She recounted to reporters after fleeing the hospital. Since the arrest of three former patients of Jackson Memorial Hospital were reported pregnant after testing for COVID-19 and health authorities are now investigating. Wow. Official testing for COVID-19 involves inserting a six inch long swab or Q-tip into the cavity between the nostrils, well, the nose and mouth for 15 seconds and re rotating it several times. See, that's it right there. You mean to tell me these women didn't know any better? And then look at look at this nurse. Not to say that even if it was, uh, I don't know, hunk of the year. You know what I'm saying? That you should have went for that. You see? But be that as it is, I'm telling you this. Ladies, when you go to the doctor these days, you know what I mean? When situations like gynecological uh, exams and all that old kind of stuff. Make sure who you're dealing with. Don't let these people tell you anything. All right? Don't let them piss on you and tell you it's raining. That's basically what this fat hunk of dumplings did. Sick. Y'all tell me what y'all think about this story right here. I'm interested in hearing your thoughts and your views and opinions on it. Like, comment, share, and subscribe. People, please remember to live your life as though we are being watched. Simply because we are. This is James, and I'm out. Peace.